Hello my dear little friends. Welcome to Dive into Pooja's books where we tell you unique and awesome facts about various topics. We explain it to you in a way that kids can really understand. And yes, where do we find all this from? By reading more and more and more books. So that is what you also have to do. Can you guess what is today's topic? What do you see outside? It's raining today. It's a beautiful rainy day. So we are going to talk about rain today. We all know that rain is good for our planet. It gives us fresh water to drink, helps farmers grow crops, keeps everything clean and lush, and it is fun to run around in the rain. But yes, my little one was asking me, why does it rain? It's not really very good because he cannot go out. And so, what is rain and why does it really rain? How does it rain and what are the uses of it? We are going to see that all right now. I will explain you the water cycle not in the normal textbook form, but we will see it actually how it is happening. Let's get going. What is rain? Rain are the water droplets that come from the sky to the earth. It can be a normal drizzle with tiny water droplets or it can be a shower with heavy water droplets. Sometimes rain also comes in terms of snow when it really gets cold. So, how are these water droplets coming from the sky? What is this magic? So, do you see this lake? This is full of water here. Similarly, our earth is 70% water. It has lots of oceans, rivers, lakes as water storages. Now, when the sun is out, the water from this lake evaporates in terms of steam. That is the gas form of water. Now, as this steam, it evaporates and it gets up in the air. It's colder in the air out there and there this steam condenses into tiny water droplets. Now these tiny water droplets they clung to some dust, some chemicals and they form bigger water droplets. All these water droplets now they form the clouds and when these water droplets become bigger the clouds they become grey. The, the clouds become huge and tall as you see here and then it rains because the water droplets are really heavy now for the clouds to hold them and then the water comes down to the earth as the force of gravity pulls it. And finally this water is back to the oceans. Foremost, did you know that without rain, most of our planet would be like a desert? Scary thought, isn't it? So we are going to find all about rain and what causes it. What is rain? Rain is actually part of a bigger part of the weather called precipitation, which means any form of water that falls to the earth like rain or snow, drizzle, hail or sleet. How is rain formed? Water is always moving. Rain that has fallen where you live may have been water in the ocean a couple of days before. What a weird thought, isn't it? So as you know, the water in the ocean is very salty. You cannot drink it as it is. So the mechanism of rain is nothing but water purification as well. When the same water which was in the ocean comes back to you as rain, it is in drinkable form. Water can be in the atmosphere, on land, in the ocean and even underground. Water vapor gets into the atmosphere through a process called evaporation. Then. 
This then turns the water that is the top of the oceans, rivers and lakes into water vapor in the atmosphere using energy from the sun. So when you see when it is very sunny, the sun is helping us to convert the water in the oceans, rivers and lakes into water vapor. And this is the water vapor that is getting up in the air. This is the process of evaporation. Now this water vapor rises in the atmosphere and there it cools down and forms tiny water droplets through something called condensation. These tiny droplets then turn into clouds. When they all combine together, they grow bigger and are too heavy to stay there up in the air. This is when they will fall to the ground as rain or maybe snow or hail. Why it is falling down? Because now the clouds has become really heavy. When you see the clouds are grey, that means they are really heavy with bigger water droplets and now it cannot hold it and it comes down due to the force of gravity. Once the rain has fallen, a lot of it goes into oceans, rivers, lakes and streams that we all eventually lead to our oceans. Snow and ice stay on the surface of earth like glaciers and other types of ice. Some fun facts about rain. Water stays in some places longer than others. A drop of water may spend over 3000 years in the ocean before moving on to another part of the water cycle. Wow! Isn't that amazing? On average, a drop of water spends an average of 8 days in the atmosphere before falling back to Earth. The highest amount of rainfall ever recorded in one year was 1000 inches in Chirapunji, India. This is a lot of rain. Antarctica is the driest continent on Earth, so it rains least over there. Raindrops fall at a speed of 1 to 18 miles per hour. When there is wind, they could fall much faster. Do you think rain is just water? Well, it's not. It can have all sorts of things in it, like dirt, dust, insects, grass or even chemicals. It's probably a good idea not to swallow rain. Curious question for the curious kids. Why does rain only come from grey clouds? Let me answer. Light is made of little particles that moves in waves. Like the waves you see at the beach. Now clouds are made of little drops of water as we just saw. And if it is cold enough, little crystals of ice. Compared to light particles, the cloud drops are huge. Because the drops of water are much bigger than the waves of light particles, they bounce all the different colors together to make white light. That is why some clouds look white. Now you also asked why some clouds are grey. When a cloud grows bigger, all the water drops and ice crystals bump into each other, stick together and become bigger. Eventually they become so big and the cloud so tall that not all of the light particles can get through the cloud. This is when the cloud becomes grey. So when you see there are grey clouds, you normally don't see the sunlight. So all the grey clouds in the sky, they are blocking the sunlight and so you see the weather is cloudy and gloomy. When the cloud drops become big enough, they stop a lot of light and the cloud look very dark and grey. When enough drops stick together, they become big enough to fall to the ground as drops of rain. Rain occurs on other planets in our solar system as well. But it is different to the rain that we experience here on Earth. For example, rain on Venus is made of sulfuric acid and due to the intense heat, it evaporates even before it reaches the surface. And also as we saw in our planets video, it, it, it is raining diamonds on Uranus maybe. Go and check out the Dive into Puja's books planets video. Now, after all the rain is done, you may sometimes spot the beautiful rainbow in the sky. 
why does it happen and other unique facts of rainbow check in this video along with the facts about thunder and lightning which is related to the rain sometimes poor rainfall is not good and it can cause floods and where it does not rain it can cause deserts i hope you really like this video learned everything about rain so like the video subscribe to my channel for new videos thank you see you again